with the Russian side how to address impediments that stand in the way of greater Indian exports. We reviewed the uh, progress of our space and nuclear programs. Uh, it is also essential that our time-tested defense relationship continues to perform smoothly. Notably, our energy and fertilizer cooperation has been strengthening and our achievements of the last few years have become a foundation to do more. Foreign Minister Lavrov, of course, has spoken about some of these issues in his remarks. We discussed ways to expand and diversify our cooperation moving beyond traditional areas. Promotion of inter-regional cooperation has been a key priority for us, particularly with the Russian Far East. We also discussed enhancing connectivity, including through the International North-South Transport Corridor, as well as the chennai Vladivostok Eastern Maritime Corridor. I updated Minister Lavrov and Deputy PM Mandurov on India's flagship initiatives, including Akhanirbhar Bharat, that is self-reliant in India, and Make in India, that can serve as platforms for a more contemporary economic relationship between our two countries. Now, it is natural that as foreign ministers we exchange views on the international situation from our particular perspectives and vantage points. Obviously, the Ukraine conflict was a dominant feature, although we will uh, continue to have discussions on it. Let me take this opportunity to lay out the Indian position uh, on this matter. As Prime Minister Modi conveyed to President Putin in Samarkand in September, this is not an era of war. The global economy is simply too interdependent for a significant conflict anywhere, not to have major consequences elsewhere. We are seeing growing concerns on energy and food security emanate from the conflict that are coming on top of severe stresses created by two years of COVID. The global south, especially, is feeling this pain very acutely. India, therefore, strongly advocates a return to dialogue and diplomacy. We, clear, we are clearly on the side of peace, respect for international law, and support for the UN Charter. Insofar as specific initiatives pertaining to issues like food grains and fertilizer shipments are concerned, or any other problem for that matter, India will be as helpful as we can be. Uh, indeed, I would say that for any initiative that de-risks the global economy and stabilizes the global order, at this stage, India will be supportive. 